The growth rate of the Russian military industrial complex has noticeably decreased in recent months. Such a trend is noted by military experts to further increase production, expand the range and update the model range of products. The Russian military industrial complex needs appropriate industrial equipment, started from machine tools to specialized equipment for the installation of complex electronic components. They are trying to work on it, but are faced with a number of restrictions. In this case, sanctions work and create additional difficulties. And in terms of modern optics, electronics, circuitry, microchips, this is what the enemy faces a shortage of. It is trying to debug schemes for grey imports or outright smuggling. In general, Russia today is a major arms smuggler in the world. Andriy Yusuf, press representative of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, on the air of the National Teleson. The director of the Morium Instrument Making Plant complained about the inability to fulfill the defense order, large losses and shortage of workers due to mobilization. IT specialists managed to intercept his correspondence. In his capacity as the director of the Defense Enterprises League of the Volodymyr region, he complains that factories must supply products at prices fixed in 2019 and to buy parts at market prices, money first. At the same time, the money from the government is not enough even to cover the interest on the loan, which must be taken out in order to settle with suppliers. In addition, money can be taken out of the enterprise only upon completion of the contract, but contracts are concluded for three to five years, and this money is being frozen all this time from a message by National Resistance Center of Ukraine. The Russian military industrial complex lacks about 400,000 workers and engineers. People are being lured away from the civil sector, but the personnel shortage cannot be filled. Therefore, they have to work hard, writes the Moscow Times. It is natural that there are more and more defective products and the production plan cannot be fulfilled. Putin, uh... Putin made this decision several times. This is more or less known that the armatas should be sent to Ukraine, but they don't send it. Either because there are too few of them, or, well, there are few of them, only a few dozen. But they are simply, well, they just do not fit. Their quality does not correspond to what was stated. The Russian military industry has not been able to overcome its dependence on imported equipment. Moscow has at its disposal only the equipment that was purchased earlier. It is not possible to produce new products in the required quantity and sanctions do not allow purchasing imported goods. It is enough to make up for losses if we talk about weapons, but it is not enough to build up. And this in itself makes, for example, mobilization meaningless. Hundreds of thousands can be mobilized, but what will they fight with? Yes. The Russian military industrial complex is unbalanced, experts say. There are not enough people, equipment and technology. It is financed almost exclusively by Russian taxpayers because Moscow has had to have arms experts and costs already at record levels will continue to rise. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.